Hey everyone, welcome back. In the last part, we didn't do such a great job with protecting Effie, so now we're gonna try and find a way to, like, I don't know, just try not to... So what happened was, in the last part, we were able to recruit the last of the trial units, Lazlo's daughter, Sully, and now this part, we're gonna wrap up this paralogue. We can... Alright, Laszlo. Alright, let's go. Stop staring at me. Why am I feeling shy now? Ugh, it doesn't matter, Laszlo. You're getting stronger every time, so you're now level nine. Wow, what the piss was that? How far can you... <sighs> Alright, so... Wait, who am I missing, though? Uh... Hang on, let me look at the map for a sec now. Ah, uh, sorry, that's who. Alright. And that guy died. Thanks for stealing a kill from me. Oh my god. Alright, so Xander is now level 16. Not enough. Come on, Xander, stop being like that. You got a good level up there. Alright, Effie, take this guy out. On my honor as a knight. <laughs> oh no, I'm hungry. Oh, yep. Alright, Siege Bert. Alright. Laszlo, you get up close. Please, Selena, can you. Alright. Yes, you can. Thank God. Selena needs to get some levels. Alright, Selena, good work. Right, so Sully, you get up close. This is gonna hurt a bit. And by a bit, I mean a lot. Yeah, and yep. Come on, Benny, don't miss. Thank you. Xander, get over there. Let's leave no survivors. Is that all? Alright, I'm just feeding Xander kills because it's like Leo is like the strongest of the royal siblings at this point, so I wanna like get Xander level up as leveled up as much as I can. Effie can take care of this guy, no problem. She's the wall right now. That guy can't do anything to her. Alright, Effie's leveled up, and she's now level 4. Am I too strong? No. Alright, let's see. Let's move out.
All right, let's see. So, okay, so we're gonna have Silas take the last kill with the steel sword. Be careful. Goodbye. No hard feelings. All right, Silas is leveled up. He's now level two. On my honor as a knight. All right. All right. We're gonna move Xander down here, and we're gonna have Flora quickly mend Xander because I need him at full strength right now. Right, so we're gonna have Benny be my other wall right now. Wait, how many guys are there left anyway? Oh, there's only three. Benny has the javelin equipped, so that's good at least. Alright, nice job, Benny. Alright, so... Alright, so that guy can't hit Selena, so... Let's see what he has to say, though. His name is... Zara. You don't know me! I don't know you! But before, before I was a bandit, I was a swordsman. The best! Come on! I'll test my blade on you. Time to play. Yeah, you're dealing with some... <laughs> Hey, yeah, you lost. So we're gonna still have the javelin equipped, but Zara's at low enough health, so Benny. Good job. That takes care of him. I guess I failed the test. Yeah, because you're dealing with my boy, Benny. He's now level 10. Alright, his defense is getting through the roof right now. Alright, so we're gonna have Kana step forward and use the Dragonstone Plus to finish this guy off. I see them. <laughs> I did it! So close. Alright, now we're gonna get over here and we're gonna have to heal Selena. Right, we're gonna have Xander move over here, and Sully come over here. Oh yeah, right, Effie and Silas, that's what, because I was about to say, wait, who am I missing? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you lost. Alright, at least Kana leveled up, she's now level 14. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so let's have Benny get the last kill. I'll take care of this. Goodbye. All right, and that's the last of them. Camilla and Benny are the MVPs. Whew, that was good. Soleil. Oh, Soleil, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so I've been calling her Sully this whole time, so now I'm an idiot. So it's Soleil. Anyways, Soleil, you are amazing. Woohoo! Thanks, Father, and thanks to all your friends. I'm so happy that you came. <laughs> I'm happy that you're alive. This was no piece of cake. Um... um, if I may, we could use someone like her, fighting with a smile on her face. We're always on such a grim march, she put some, some pep in her step. Uh... Aren't I smiling enough? Yay! I love to come. You have to let me, Father. You have to. Well, um, once more? Laszlo, I couldn't hear you through, through your frown. Um, All right. I could use some extra support on the, on the smiley front. Hmm, who's this? Thank you. Ooh, Soleil, our town would, would be a pile of rock rocks if you hadn't helped. Here's something to remember us by. Oh. My goodness! Um, What's with the blushing? Your pink is a rose, Soleil. Wow, cute. Um, um, hi. Again, did I say hi? Sorry, blanked out there. You're just too pretty for words. So, yeah, this is also where, this is another one of those characters where Soleil may possibly be transgender and might be into, into other girls aside from guys. So, she's kind of bisexual in a way, but let's not bring, like, sexism in the end of this. Let's just be happy that we finished the paralogue. 
And I'm amazed that it's been a long time since I've only had like one unit die and that one person was Effie, so that's kind of a sigh of relief for me. But I guess those are words about you being pretty. <gasps> I am? Let's go stargazing. Shall we? Do you want to? Just the two of us? Yes. I'd love to. Whoa. Well, really? You and me beneath the stars. I can't wait. Hmm, Lazo, did your daughter just ask that girl out to gaze at the stars? Why, yes. She's got a good taste in women as well as men. Got a problem with that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much every argument that Lazo needs no. to make. Of course not. Woohoo! She said yes, father. She... See, I always told you, be honest with women. It's not a game. Just wear your heart hurt on your sleeve on both your sleeves. Soleil. I guess I can look forward to more of these dating tips, eh? <laughs> I don't imagine him will have much time for these little daughter-father chats. But you can always rely on me. It's true. We're at war, but I'll always have the time for you, Soleil. <laughs> with a breath of fresh air. How'd someone like you wind up with a great daughter? What do you mean, me? But yes, I suppose I'm fortunate to be here to have such a delight as Soleil in my life. Oh, thank God. I was wondering if we were... Because I'm not sure if we were able... So we got a physique and a friendship seal, I think. Okay, let's see. Um, So first we're going to stop by the hunting forest. We're gonna go to talk to Shigure. Just gonna... right, let's go to the arena. Let's see what we can win out of this. Elise and Keaton. Um, let's see. Um, let's get berries. All right. Nice shot, Elise. Well, thanks to your wife, you're still in perfect condition, so you should be thanking her, Keaton. Well, that didn't go over so well. I really don't care. Ah, you're lying, Keaton. You're really... Honestly, I wouldn't blame you. Wait, hang on a sec, you wait. Okay, I only have one berry. Phew! Alright, uh, where to go? Oh uh, yeah, a little simple. Alright. So, that takes care of that. And now, L Lilith is level 61. Hmm. Alright, we gotta go bar for all our trouble. Uh, let's see, where to go to next? Here we go. Alright, let's see. Of course, I can't afford to buy anything, so... Alright, let's see. Seriously? Come on. Wait, come on, is it? No, it's me. Okay, uh... Okay. So, Laszlo and Soleil. Mm, la la la. Hey, uh, what you doing? Getting in a little dance practice? Yep, what about you? I just got back from the village. Today I had tea with... me with about five girls. What? That many? Ugh. <sighs> That's amazing. Suddenly I feel an incredible little sense of defeat in terms of my own tea count. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Everyone has, has their own strengths and weaknesses. Unlike you, I'm an awful dancer. I have literally zero rhythm. But hey, I can chat up with cuties like no one's business. You on the other hand. Wow, you sure know how to rub the salt in the wound. Well, I suppose there are worse thing things than losing out. Not to my adorable daughter. Aw, you're the best overly dotting parent in the world. Hey now, I'm not overly dotting at all. I called you adorable because I honestly think you're adorable. Sure, right. You're quick with quick with the compliments, aren't you? Is that how you got mom to fall for you? Oh, also, how exactly did you 
you proposed to her. Was it romantic? Soleil, don't you think that's a little personal? Jeez, you don't need to be shy. Right? It will be more embarrassing for me to hear, hear about it. But if the answer will embarrass you, then why did you ask? <laughs> because I'm so happy right now, and it's probably a cute story. Honestly, it's just it's so great being able, able to talk to you about anything like this. We have so much lost time to make up for, for now that I'm out, out of the stupid deep realms. Oh, Sully, I'm so sorry you had to grow up there. I know how lonely you were. Don't worry about it. That's all in the past now. I'm just so happy we're finally together. Nothing will ever tear us apart. You really are the best daughter a father could ask for. And the most adorable. Uh, I have an idea. Let's go go out for tea so I can, can keep chatting up. What do you say? Sorry, but I've had enough tea tea to last a lifetime. Just kidding. <laughs> it sounds amazing. I have so many things I want to ask you. Oh, like, like about how you look, look so cool during battle. What's your secret? Now that we're together, I have to be gr great fire so I can protect you. And I might as well look cool while no one will matter, just like you. So you want to improve your battle skill, do you? I don't know. Honestly, I'd rather just put you in a, any dangerous situation. What are you saying? Waiting around without you know, doing anything? Anything to help, help is absolutely out of the question. You should understand my, my position more than anybody should. Alright, alright, I suppose you have a point. But first, we'll start with some relaxing tea. Do we have a deal? Deal. Yay, this is gonna be awesome! Alright, and now Selena and Soleil. Hiya, Mom. What are you getting up to today? Sharpening some blades? Yes, Soleil. I have to make sure these blades... He's... He's are ready for the battlefield. Wow, that's it's so interesting. Why are you staring at me? Do I have something stuck in my teeth? Sheesh, be, qu sh be quiet. I need to take in this moment so I can remember it forever. My perfect mother, standing with, turning with a blade glimmering in the bright sun. Her hair swaying gently in, in the breeze while she takes a stone under the iron. <laughs> this is too adorable. What a cute scene. What in the hell are you talking about? How dare you tease me? I never tease you, Mom. Seriously, you're always so humble about everything. I never knew how much elegance and grace was required for maintaining weapons. I can't handle it. Everything is so crazy adorable with you. We have to run into town and grab some tea together. I need to know how you became such a world-class cutie. I don't have any time for that. Oh, please, I have to go. Wait, Mom, please don't go. Wow. Kinda harsh there, aren't you, Selena? Alright, uh, well, can we upgrade anything? Uh, little, um, can't do anything. Alright, uh, let's see, I got everything that I need, so I guess I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright, alright, see you guys next time. Bye.